Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to clean the text before we can apply our own natural language processing concepts on it. And now cleaning is done in two main ways. First is making sure everything is in lowercase and secondly, we remove all the unwanted characters from it like punctuations. But even before that, we need to read text in our Python program. So for that, we are going to create a new file over here. I'm just going to call it read.txt and this is going to contain all of our text even if it's an essay or anything copied from the web. I'm just going to give it the text of I love Python with a capital P and an exclamation mark so that we can tackle both of these second and third steps which contains a capital P so it's in not in lowercase and it contains a punctuation. But even before that, we need to make sure that this data inside read.txt gets inside this main.py program. So we're going to create a variable called text pretty easy. And then I'm going to write open, which will open this read.txt file. And we need to write down the name of the file. In our case, it's read.txt. And then I'm just going to tell Python to read it. And one other thing I'm going to add is something known as encoding. I'm going to give it an encoding of UTF-8. So what is this encoding for? So sometimes we need to copy and paste a blog article or something from the web inside a read.txt file so that we can analyze that data and tell what kind of sentiment that blog post or a web article has. So when you copy that inside this read.txt file, that data, that text is in UTF dash encoding. Like most of the things on the internet are of that encoding. Not everything, but most of them are, especially like blog articles and stuff like that. That's why we need to make sure that we add an encoding, otherwise it's going to show us an error. It's just a way of writing text on the internet. So anyways, after we have done that, we're going to print out this text. So to make sure that our main.py file has the text inside read.txt and it has been printed on the screen. Now we can go to the next step that is converting the letters into lowercase. Now we need to convert it to lowercase because the words are kind of the soul of analyzing text, not sentences, just words because they can convey a lot of meaning by themselves. And when we compare words in natural language processing, a word like an apple with a capital A is not equal to the same word in a smaller case. For example, an apple with a small a. Therefore, to compare words, we need to make sure the entire text which we are going to be analyzing is in lowercase. This will make more sense as we go further along the videos. But converting the text to lowercase is really easy in Python. So for that, we are just going to create a new variable and we're going to call it lowercase. And inside this, we are going to write text dot lower. And that is pretty much it. The text will get converted into lowercase. And then we're just going to print out the lowercase to test whether this is working or not. So currently our read dot text has a capital P, which we want to convert into lowercase. So that's run this main.py file and see if our program works. So as you can see, I has also been converted into smaller case. I forgot that is also in upper case. And the P is also now in smaller case. Now we can compare these words properly and use them for natural language processing. Now we are going to go to the third point, the third step that is removing punctuations like full stop, comma, exclamation mark. In a read.txt file, there's an exclamation mark. And let's also like add some stuff over here. Let's Let's just write, let's add the I at the rate lock. And just we're just going to add some punctuations. In this case, also there is an exclamation mark. So we are going to remove all these punctuations from the text using something known as dot translate. So for that, we need to import something known as string. So what we are going to do is we are just going to write over here, import string. And then we are going to use the functions that are inside this string class to make sure that we can remove the punctuations. But even before that, what kind of punctuations are present inside Python that we can use to remove it from a string? So we're just gonna print out something known as string.punctuation so that you guys can see what are the punctuations that are present. So we're just gonna write string, which we just imported, and then we are gonna write dot punctuation. And let's actually print it out. We are gonna remove this from here and then gonna run the main.py program again, and you'll be able to see all the punctuations that we need to remove. So we, if you have a string that is in lowercase and we need to remove all these punctuations from it, that is where dot translate comes in. So I'm gonna write the code and then I'm gonna explain what it means. So we are just gonna remove this print line and instead of that, we are just gonna write a new variable and let's just call it clean underscore text. And this is the final step that we need to do. So this clean underscore text will contain the final clean text that is in lowercase and free of all punctuations. After that, we are just going to write lower underscore case because this is the lowercase string that you want to remove the punctuations from. And after that, we are just going to write dot translate. And this is where the magic happens. Our lowercase string gets converted into a string without punctuations. 
If you are confused about what this dot translate means, you can just think of it as dot convert. We are converting our lowercase string into a string that doesn't contain all these punctuations. And by string, I just mean text. If you guys are not savvy programmers, but I'm pretty sure everybody already knows what a string is. Anyways, after that, we are just going to write str dot make trans. And this is a function that is inside dot translate, which helps it to convert the lowercase into a string without punctuations. And this requires three parameters. First string, which is empty in our case, second string, and this is also empty in our case, and the third string, which requires all the punctuations. So I'm just going to write string. And this is getting we are getting it from import string. So we're just going to write string dot punctuations, because this contains all the punctuations that we want to remove, as you can see all of these punctuations below. And then I'm just going to print this out. And then I'm going to explain what this line means again, so that you guys can understand it properly. So I'm just going to write print and then clean text. And let's see if the magic has happened. I'm just going to print this out on the screen. And you can see I love Python is in lowercase and it doesn't contain the at the rate sign and the exclamation mark. So our text, our conversion is working. Now, just to give you kind of a recap, what we did was we created a new variable called clean underscore text, which will contain all of our clean text. And then we define the string that need to be converted. And then we use the dot translate method to convert the string into a string that doesn't contain punctuation. And the function that helps it to convert is str dot make trans, which requires three parameters, the first string, then the second string, which we don't need in our case, and the third string, which is known as string dot punctuation, which will contain all of our punctuations that need to be removed. And if you want to like go into depth of all of what these functions means, obviously you can Google it, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of an idea. So this first parameter contains the characters that need to be replaced. In our case, there are just no characters that need to be replaced. We just need to delete them. That is why we ne needed the str3 or the third string. And the second string specifies the list of characters with which the characters need to be replaced. For example, if our first string, let's write str1. If our str1 is, let's say, abc, and our str2 is something like, um, let's say, gef. So we, this str1 will be this, specifies the list of characters that need to be replaced. So abc will get replaced with gef if we had put in the first string and the second string as the parameters over here. But obviously, we don't need both of them. We just need to delete the characters. And that is why we are using only the third parameter, that is the third string. And this main dot str dot make trans basically creates a transition table or a table that helps the draw translate function to delete these characters. It's just kind of a helper. Obviously, if you need to go more into depth, it's not needed for our purposes. But if you need to go into more of this depth, feel free to Google it. Anyways, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn about tokenization and stop words, which are really important in natural language processing. So I'll see you over there.